Shalom of Racha. The Pasuk, the only Pasuk in the entire Torah that describes the Jewish people as being slaves of God, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, occurs in Parshas Behar. And the fascinating thing is the context. The Pasuk says, Avadai Haim, we are slaves to God. That I brought them forth from Egypt. But what's the context? Why? Says the Pasuk, and therefore, Lo yimkaru mimkeres of it. They cannot be sold as slaves. The full scope of slavery cannot apply to the Jewish people. And therefore, when the Jubilee year comes once in 50 years, they must go free from being slaves. Also, their treatment must be especially humane. One is not allowed to work with a Jewish slave in a way that doesn't respect his being a free person, being by definition a slave of God. And the question is, two questions. First of all, why is this the only place in the Torah that we find this idea of us being slaves of God? Surely this is a common theme, or at the very least a theme we would expect to come up more than once in the entire Torah. And the second question is, why does being a slave of God preclude, exclude the possibility of being a slave to somebody else? We know that someone who's employed, an employee, he has special halachot, special halachos. He does a quick davening because his time is owned by his employer. His birka samazon, grace after meals, is also a potentially short version because his time is his employer's time. We could say the same thing about a Jewish slave. He can still keep all the mitzvot of the Torah and not be in this contradiction between being a slave of God and being a slave of somebody else. So why are they mutually exclusive? I think the basic answer to this is not a matter of time, but a matter of relationship. The Gemara tells us that Avda somebody who is a true slave, somebody who is enslaved, cannot constitute, cannot enjoy the full depth of relationship because his very being is enslaved to somebody else. He's not free to engage, to be in the full scope and the fullness of a human relationship. And that's why, says the Torah, Avadai Haim, they are my slaves, but in which context? In the context of, I have a relationship with the Jewish people. The Jewish people must be free to engage fully in relationship with me, with God. And therefore, they cannot be fully slaves to any man, to anybody else. Says Rashi, my shtar, my document comes first. And in the Targum Yonasan, he adds, my, not my document, he says, but rather my Torah. Shibudon Lurisa, they're being subjugated to the Torah. And what is the Torah? Says the Mishnah, the day of giving the Torah was the day of Hashem's marriage, Yom Chatu Nasai, the day of his marriage, the day on which he institutionalized the relationship with the Jewish people. And that came first, beginning from when we came out from Mitzrayim and culminating in the giving of the Torah. And because of that, we cannot be slaves to anybody else in the full sense of the world, of the word. Now, Baruch Hashem, nowadays, we live in a world in which slavery is a distant memory. And I think the Torah leads inevitably to that conclusion, that slavery by definition is something which is wrong, is something that should be cast away from human experience. And Baruch Hashem, in our at the very least, local experience, we don't come across slavery anymore. However, the idea that the Torah articulates remains relevant. It remains contemporary. Because what's the Torah telling us? The Torah is telling us that the relationship with Hashem comes first, takes precedence. And therefore, anything that stops us, anything that prevents us from engaging, from experiencing, that connection to Hashem is something that we must refrain from. It's something that's forbidden. The Gemara in Bava Matiya says that even today, an employee 
can leave his job even in the middle of the day. Again, there are halachic questions of if a Kenyan is made, meaning if a full acquisition is made, and so on. But in the theoretical sense, in the ideal sense, an employee can leave his job in the middle of the day. And why? Because avadai heim, because we're slaves to Hashem, veloy avadim le avadim, and not slaves to slaves, not slaves to people. And therefore, even a day laborer can leave his job in the middle of the day. And that's one example. But we need to internalize the message. And the message is that if something is preventing us from realizing that connection to Hashem, something is stopping us from being able to daven to Hashem, something is stopping us from being able to feel, to experience the connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We're in the wrong environment. We have the wrong friends. Whatever it might be, the Torah is telling us, beware of that. We're not slaves to slave. Being a slave to somebody else or to something else, whether it's an institution, whether it's some kind of framework, if we're enslaved to that, and that prevents us from experiencing, from living the connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, then we have to break free of those chains and make sure that we're available, that we're ready, that we're prepared for realizing the relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. And Halavai, that we should really be, we should merit to realize fully the connection, the experience, the closeness to a Kaddish Baruch Hu, and to be slaves to Hashem in this context of being slaves to Hashem and not to anybody else. Generally speaking, I should note, the Torah refers to us as being subjects of a king of Hashem, subject that bring themselves. A slave can't bring himself because he's subjugated to his master. But we need to bring ourselves to Hashem to experience that relationship and to be zeche bimheri of yameinu to Hashem's full revelation in the final redemption. Bimheri of yameinu, amen. We should all have a wonderful Shabbos.